Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, hope you are having a uh, blessed, is it Saturday? Saturday, a blessed Saturday. Yeah, uh, before I get started, I want to let you know I'm not doing any card pulls today. Uh, just not quite feeling up to it yet. And they still don't know what's wrong with me yet. Isn't that how it goes? But I've got doctor's appointments to see and testing to be done. Uh, anyway, I want to show you a few things. This was before I got sick. Um, Albert's mom took us to a church sale and for one donation fee um, you could get you know as much as you wanted well I didn't see a whole lot I liked uh, a lot of it was books I'll be honest with you I'm a book person still there's just something about a book isn't the same as using uh, an online reader. Just ain't the same. So we uh, we picked up a bunch of stuff. Albert's mom got a lot. Um, but uh, I got these uh, these juice glasses. And I thought, oh, wouldn't they be perfect? Or tea, tea candle. Oops. Dropped it in upside down. So there. Just like that. There's some light. I love this cobalt blue glass. I collected. So when I saw those, I just couldn't resist. Now, I don't know if you all recall, last summer, last summer, I got one of these lanterns. I thought it was cool because the kitchen kind of has a red thing going on with, uh, the coca-cola stuff so i found a matching one to the one i already got now i, I got i've got another one and i was just like wow so cool now i have a set yay Then we got this, and probably most of you might already know, it's a charging station for phones. Just set your phone in, plug it in up here, and set it down here, and let it charge. Pretty handy. Because I don't have those fancy phones that you just set down on the pad. No, mine's old, tiny. And I haven't really gone through this well, but I picked up this basket. And it's got rope. It's all rope coils. And there's been so many things I wanted to do with like rip coils around decorating and stuff, detailed decorating and all like that. And hey, you can always use stuff like this. I got a whole basket full of that. It was funny because the people at this church sale, oh boy. They were trying to get rid of their books. 
and I was more than happy to uh, to oblige. Uh, Y'all might not be interested in this. It's uh, Life and Times of Chaucer. Kind of like... Um, historical book there. Then I picked up a bunch of the Harry Potter books. I never read them. And they had a bunch. And I was like, well, what the hey? I've hardly seen the movies, and I know what a big deal they were. I just came out a little bit too old for Harry Potter. You know, Harry Potter's, oh boy, like about 20 years ago, and I'm 56, so... I just was not really into Harry Potter at that age of my life. Okay. And I got a book on Stonehenge. History book. Another one. I'm going to need to set these out of the way just briefly. So I have more room because, well, I found a book on American folklore, which I thought might come in handy with some of the researching and stuff to kind of maybe help get a little background on some stuff. Now I'm getting to the big books. Great people of the Bible and how they lived. Which I thought would be interesting because I know it's nothing like what we know it today. That's for sure. Mysteries of the unexplained. Let me move these out of the way a little bit so I have some more room. Yeah. Mysteries of the unexplained. <laughs> Life beyond death. Unsolved mysteries of the past. Charting the future. This one was all for practicality's sake. Diabetic cookbook. And this one is, oh, fantastic. This was, well, I don't know where it was put on sale, but it was twenty two ninety eight, And that was on sale somewhere. And it's the secret language of birthdays. I'm hitting my crystal ball there. Don't want to do that. The secret language of birthdays. And it is a big book. And it is full of practically everything you want to know about any birth date you might have. Oh, and the last one. And I saw this, and I grabbed it and ran. <laughs> I Love Lucy. Uh, it's the official I Love Lucy 50th anniversary um, tribute. So, yes, I'm, I'm still a fan of Lucy's. A fan. Oh. And for my book collection, I do, I collect books. Yes, I do. And they had this old one. I don't even want to open it out of the bag because it's starting to crumble. It's from 1868.
and I just I just love having that feeling of having something that old and historical. Well, not so much historical. It's a book on uh, philosophy, I believe. Whew. I'm running out of space. And I still ain't done. Because then I got this. Beautiful candle holder. It sets up, but you can't hardly see it there. It's tall. It's about two and a half foot tall, I'd say. I got a candle for it already, but uh, yeah, I fell in love. I've got another one, eh, about the same height, very different in style, but I just loved it. Perfect for having this. Uh, can you guess what I got now? <laughs> Another fabric Santa. I love these things. Let me hold it up. <laughs> there he goes. Fabric Santa. He's a little dusty and everything, but uh, yeah, I have uh, I have about a half a dozen of these. And the best time of year to collect them is right now. Because Christmas is the last thing on anyone's mind. And let's see, around the same time, we also returned to Mononga to try to locate uh, the one entrance to the mine. And to just get some exercise, go out for a walk and everything. We couldn't quite find the location of the mine. But I have a general area of where it's at. I walked ahead and did some EVPs out of his mom's ear range so that uh, I could get some without, you know, really bothering her. And I haven't been able to listen to them yet. I've just been so sick. Um, I'm trying to get back and up and at them again. It's a slow, uh, slow process. <laughs> but that's all my steals and deals that I got. Oh, and his, well, his, mom, his mom got a load of stuff. This ain't nothing to what she got. And she donated like 120 to the church. So I know they came out still pretty good because that was all donated materials anyway. And I know there was a woman there that she'd been going there for two days and going through everything and loading up her car each time. With stuff. I don't know what kind of donation she gave, but uh, it was like, geez. And I didn't feel bad about the books because they were like, take them, take them, take them. Apparently, nobody wants books anymore. I don't know. It's just one of my uh, personal peeves. I like books. But that's about all I have for today. Uh, thank you for joining me. I um, hope you all have a blessed day. Uh, I'll try to be back with readings as soon as possible. I, I like to be feeling good and in the right frame of mind to, to do the readings. So, yeah, I'm not quite up to that yet. But anyway, until next time, I hope it won't be long. Take care. Peace. Believe because the spirits are out there. And bye bye.